better be good, you better watch out. The Rico Suave Ores is coming to town. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take a look to Dollar Rowney Kryla Artist Acrylics. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the packaging. By the way, you can get this in uh, jerrysalterama.com and the prices start at four dollar with 13 cents because they have up to 55 percent off right now so we're going to start with the packaging here we have it it have all the information you need it have the light fatness it have the pigment in it it have uh the website where you can find it all the rest of the information that you need of course in the front you have a printed color uh, what is supposed to be inside and a um, the name of it and, and that's it you have a screw top it's nice and big a screw top I like that too I would rather the one with the flip but you know not everybody wants to do that so but the package is good it's decent uh, comfortable they are how much is in here uh, I don't know how much is in. Oh, here it is. 75 milliliters in size. So it's, it's, it's a good amount you get. Especially for the price. They're very affordable. And the art is acrylic. Artist quality acrylic. We'll see about that now. So I started the swatches. Because I don't want to make this video too long. So I have 10 colors to show you. Um, so I swatched already five of them uh, we can start talking about those and then we're gonna swatch a, a, for you uh, the rest of it so uh, starting we have the golden ochre the color is a, a well yellow you know a, it's a transparent color but ochre is an opaque color so golden ochre is kind of a little bit too transparent it would be nice if it's a little bit more opaque. It's also a little patchy. You know, I don't like patchy. It blends okay, but not fabulous. So we're gonna move to the Kryla Ultramarine Violet. Same thing. Very transparent. I mean, so you expect some of the pigment to be transparent, but this is ridiculous. It's a little bit too transparent. It should have a little bit more of pigment in there, be a little more opaque. On the own, it's a little bit patchy. But when you mix it with white, it makes beautiful violet color. It's a beautiful color. Once you mix it with white, and give it a little more of opacity and, you know, it gets the creaminess, so it, it looks less patchy when you mix it with the white. A good white. Uh, then we have the manganese blue hue. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Slightly transparent, but that's good. That that's fine. It's still, it, it's, I have a nice vibrancy, and it made beautiful pastel colors. It's a beautiful color. I love it. Then we have the permanent rose. This one, the paint was a little bit rough, but it should be. Mill a little longer because it's a little like cottage that it just slightly not creepy, not consistent, it's not very patchy on the own. But when you mix it with the white, it makes beautiful pink. It is a beautiful color, you just need to be make it smoother and maybe a little more pigmented. It's not crazy pigmented either, but. It is a beautiful color. Then we have the cobalt turquoise. I love this color. This is beautiful. Oh, to paint like the water and stuff like that. It's beautiful. Love this color. 
Then we have five shades of green, because I do a lot of landscape. So I like to have all different kinds of shades of green. I don't want to mix each one of green. Sometimes I like to have a good starting point. Because when you're painting uh, leaves and trees, it's like a million shades of green. So I like to have a lot of greens available. So this one that we did the swatch, we can put it away. And then we have five shades of green that we're gonna swatch right now. So, I've already poured some white and we're gonna start with the, uh, this is the Cobalt Chronite Green. Cobalt Chromite Green. Okay, a little weird name, but it is what it is. So, let's see. See what this is about. Oh, it's very pretty. It's labeled green, but it's more like a blue. Let's see what that looks like in the swatches. Let's see. The texture is okay. Hmm. You see there? The texture is okay. Not bad. Slightly transparent, but not bad. It's, it's good. It's actually good. It's very nice. Not all the color had to be super opaque. So let's add a little bit of white. Uh, not a heavy tinter, so the white eats them up right away so have that in consideration yeah once you mix it with the white it loses the chroma a little it makes it almost like a gray green color gray blue gray turquoise color it doesn't blend as smooth as, as smooth as I like it's not a buttery consistency so Yeah, it looks, it actually looks more vibrant in the video than it is in person. It definitely loses the intensity, it loses the chroma a lot, and become like a gray, grayish turquoise. Eh. But you can find a lot of uses for that. All the colors I, I, I are useful in one way or the other. Not all the time you need like neon colors, um, super vibrant colors. Sometimes you want it to get more muted color. So, they're all used from one way or the other. So, that's the chromite green. And then we have phthalo turquoise. Phthalo is supposed to be a very pigmented color. Let me see if this one is going to be. After all, this is supposed to be artist color, not a student. So I have high expectation of it. Not low expectation, I have high expectations. So let's see what this is about. Oh, look nice and rich. The consistency is good. Hmm. This is a beautiful color. It's like a teal blue. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Hmm. Slightly transparent, which is good. You don't want every color to be super opaque. You wanna pick you out a little bit of white, which we're gonna do that right now. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It's beautiful. I love this color. Oh my God, I love this color. It's beautiful. It's not patchy, which you know I hate when they're patchy. Not patchy for me. This is beautiful. And it looks like it's blending good. Hmm. Yeah, it's blending good. Now, that's more like it. This is nice and smooth. It blends very good. 
It had a lot of intensity, the color. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Love it. So let's move to the next one. This one is the Thalo Green. And you all know, your artists, that Thalo Green is supposed to be very strong. So let's see if this one is. Now. Look so far, so good. Thalo Green. Look nice and intense. I like that. It's uh, it's a smooth. It's not buttery like I like, but it's good. It's a smooth. I love wing. Yeah, getting there. Let's see. Hmm. It's a very strong color. I like it. It's not too patchy. I like that. I hate when the patchy, it just, it drives me crazy. Put a little bit of white. It's, the tinting strength is high, so it's good. Look what a nice vibrant color. Mm -mm. Look at that. So, wow. This is really a nice color. It blends good. Wow, this is a nice color. Look what a beautiful color. Very strong. This one I like. I like it a lot. So this one is very good. You know, in any brand, you're gonna find colors that are fabulous and some that are not so good. So it's to expect that to have a variety of quality and, and the properties in the colors in different you know within the same brand so next one we have terra verde hue oh this is tight i like me it's too tight so let's swatch this one i love muted have like a little skin that so I don't have problem now I got color all over my hand now it's a body <laughs> terra verde hue what is this all about this is a beautiful color it's a beautiful army color Very good for foliage. Oh, love it. Like all of the very opaque. Now that's more like it. This is beautiful. Let's see what happens if we put a little bit of white. Let me pour a little bit more of white. It's a good consistency. I like it. It's just smooth. And it blends good. When they don't blend good, it just drives me crazy, but that's just me. Yeah. This is a gorgeous color. Beautiful army. Green, great for foliage, for landscape. Beautiful, very organic looking. You can definitely find that color in nature a lot. So if you paint landscape, this is one of the colors that you need to have handy. That if you like pre-mixed color. I like a lot of pre-mixed color. 
I don't want to have six color, my golden color of the world in there. No, I want to have two million color that I have to choose that I can use. I like to have good starting point. I think I can do my own variation that I want. The next one is the rowny emerald color. It's supposed to be like a jewel tone color. Let's see if it is stamped to the name. Mm. Looks good. So far, so good. God, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Anything you want me to, uh, of art supply that you want me to review, just put it in the comment below and I make the best together and review it for you. <gasps> this is good. And you know you're gonna get the honest review from me. I'm not a sponsored and not paid by any brand if we, I claim I love a brand is because I really love the brand. Not because they pay me for it or sponsoring me for it. This is gorgeous. Oh my. With a y. Very strong tinting. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh wow. It blends good. A little bit more of why. This is beautiful. Oh wow, it put a lot of white and steel. You have that. Oh, this is very strong. This color, this is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. I absolutely love this color. Beautiful. Huh. Love that color. Anyway. The prices on these pants are very affordable. So if you want to have a good variety of colors. Without paying, you know. Putting a hole in your pocket. This is good. This brand is very good. I think overall, it has very good colors. Not all of them have the best quality, but you can make it work. Because the prices are amazing on this color. So, but the greens are fantastic. I love the greens. I love the blue. The ultramarine violet is a little weak, and the golden ochre also. A little weak and patchy, but the majorities are good. The texture in the permanent rose should be improved a little. It was a little rough, you can actually see. The paint's a little rough, you can see the grease on it. It's a little rough, that can be improved a little. The cobalt two coils is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. So you have some a mixture of hit or miss in here. But for the price point, you get what you pay for it. You, you get good variety of colors when you want to experiment with different colors. And, and it's good to add it to your collection of paint. Why not? So this is my review for today on that. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I would use it in my artwork, it, especially for on the tongue, um, on the uh, on the painting and stuff. You know, it's good. It have a good variety of colors. So I can, yeah, I see myself using it in my artwork. Why not? And I recommend it. But let's see. I would give it four brushes out of five. You know, to get the five brushes, it had to be, it had to knock my socks off. It had to be really good. So I can't give it five brushes. It's okay. And, you know, I don't want to be unfair and take one of the brush away. I give it four brushes. Because it's, it has a very good price point. So it's great when you want to build your collection of paint to have a good variety of colors. 
You can get this code in Jerry Artorama, Jerry's Artorama.com, which is a fantastic company. They don't sponsor me at all. They just happen to be really good. They have excellent, and I mean, excellent customer service. I mean, it's, they're really amazing. I have spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars a year on them because they are so good. They deliver fast. They have a great customer service. If you have a problem with the item, they they uh, refund you, they replace it. They, they're really, really, really good. So they got my heart on them. So anyway, I hope you like this video. If you want me to review anything else, just put it in the comment below. Uh, tell me what you think about this color. If you already played with it, what's your, your personal opinion or experience on it? And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.